Hey guys, so today's video is going to be an Ulta haul. So I got some goodies from Ulta. And actually not just goodies, they are new products from this brand called Catrice Cosmetics. So I got a couple things from them and I wanted to try them out and kind of, because I haven't heard anything and they were new, so I was like, let's try them out. So let's just get right in. So first I got this Catrice Cosmetics 12 hour matte mousse makeup even finish, invisible pores, and lines. So this is a mousse um, foundation, kind of like the Maybelline mousse one, or yeah, it's Maybelline, and some other brands have one as well. Um, I'm not sure I'm a big fan of mousse foundations to begin with, so I don't know if I can say good things about this, but I just used it to apply, uh, I used my fingers to apply it, and it went on nicely, it was very uh, smooth and velvety, so um, it didn't cover that much, as you can see in this clip, um, it's not covering everything I need to have covered, so um, that's kind of a downside because it does say, does it say, oh it doesn't say full coverage. But it does say 12 hour matte, so we'll see how long it actually lasts um, and if it actually keeps me matte because so far I'm not sure. Um, I did set it with a Wet n Wild powder though, I didn't get the Catrice powder. This, co this color I think is pretty okay for me. It might have been a little bit dark, um, but for the most part I could make it blend nicely. Then I got the two concealers. I got the all around concealer palette, so this is just a, has a green, a kind of peachy pink and then some uh, light, medium, and dark shades. Um, so I just used the dark and the medium shade to kind of mix them to kind of create a good color for me. And I just, I started out using a brush, but then I went in with uh, my fingers and kind of blended it out. It again did not provide full coverage. It did not cover my blemishes and redness very well. Um, and I did need to use a lot of it to uh, cover what the foundation did not cover. So um, that was kind of annoying. I did not try out the green shade. I should have used that. Maybe I'll give it one more go. And then this is the Retouch Light Reflecting Concealer. I used this under my eyes. And this, I think, actually did do a pretty good job of covering my circles. Um, I'm not sure about light reflecting, and we'll see. I didn't set it, so we'll see how it creases, if it creases. Um, but this was very easy to blend, and it did cover pretty well. So I liked this one, actually. And then the blush I got is the Illuminating Blush in Coral Me Maybe. So um, this was actually a nice blush. It was a lot more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. Um, and the color is really pretty, um, a nice corally pinky color. Um, it actually has like swirls of the darker and the lighter, so that's kind of cool. Um, I did have to blend this out a lot. It did not blend quite as well as I would like it to, um, but it was a pretty blush. I did like that. Then I went in with eyes, so I primed my eyes. I did not get the Catrice primer, but I did get the Absolute Rose eyeshadow palette. So I thought this was pretty, and I thought it was kind of like a naked three kind of ish palette. Um, so I wanted to see what I could do with this. Um, the colors were not as pigmented as um, some of the other palettes and stuff out there. Um, they blended out pretty nicely. It's what I have on right now. You saw it in the clip. I'm applying it. Um, I used, let's see, I used this matte shade in the crease to kind of for like a transition color. Then I went in with this shade here for um, the lid. And then I went in with this dark purple shade with a little bit of shimmer. This really reminds me of that dark purple shade in the Naked 3 palette. And I put this just in the outer corner, kind of like in the crease. Um, and I found that it was a little bit difficult to blend out. So then I took this shade right here and I put that as like a transition between the lid and the um, outer corner. So that helps a little bit, but they're not as pigmented as they look. And even if I swatch, well if I swatch them, see they just don't have that much pigment. So, I don't know about this, it was alright, and the colors were really pretty, and they're really uh, creamy shadows too, they're really creamy, but um, the pigment just wasn't there. So I got the eyeliner and the mascara, this is the Catrice Cosmetics Eyeliner Pen Waterproof, and the Better Than Waterproof Mascara Wash Off, wait, yeah, Better Than Waterproof Wash Off Mascara. So, um, for the eyeliner... Um, I realized it was a felt tip, and I don't like those. It was very stiff and very hard to maneuver around my eyes. 
so I did not like this very much. Um, we'll see if it's actually waterproof. I'll go take it in the pool and see if it's actually waterproof. Um, but I just didn't like how it applied. And it, I mean, it was pretty. It wasn't as black as say like the Sephora Winkets, but um, it was it was all right. And then the mascara. I actually did like the mascara. Um, it has a nice brush. So that's a good, that's a decent brush for some volume. And it didn't clump on my lashes, it went on very nicely. Again, we'll see how waterproof it actually is. Um, I'll take it in the pool. And then we'll see how all of this comes off too. So that's important too because they claim that it all is supposed to be waterproof but come off very easily. And lastly for eyes, I got the Eyebrow Stylus Pencil. So this is an actual pencil, which I'm not used to. I like using the retractables like the Anastasia... Uh, Brow Wiz or the um, Brow Beater by Urban Decay. But I thought I'd give this a try. So it has the spoolie on one end, which I really like, and then the pencil is on the other end. So I think this color was maybe a little bit too dark for me. I feel like my brows are a little too bold than I would like them. I really like a natural brow. Um, but it did apply nicely, it went on really creamy and nicely, and it blended out pretty well. So when I realized that it was too much, I was like, ooh, I need to tone that down. So I blended it out nicely. So um, this was okay, I'm not sure. Um, other than it not being my color, it was an okay product. Okay, and then lastly, I got two lip colors. So I got their Ultimate Stay lipstick, and so I got Ultimate Stay Plum and yeah, Plum and Base and Ultimate Stay looks like coral. So I actually, I do like these lipsticks. Um, this is probably my favorite thing out of everything that I got. Um, I have the plum on right here. Um, and so I thought that it applied really nicely. It was very easy to apply. It's very hydrating. It's not at all drying. Um, it doesn't, it's not marketed as matte, I don't think, but it has kind of like a matte-ish, maybe like satin matte finish, which is nice. And, um, yeah, no, no drying whatsoever, and I didn't even put a balm on before. The color is really pigmented. I did use two layers, though, um, so... But other than that, I think these are my favorite and I definitely will pick up some more. Okay, so that is all the Catrice stuff I got. Um, I just wanted to try it out because I had never heard of it. I would never heard anyone talk about it. So hopefully that was helpful for someone if you want to try out the brand, if you're a little skeptical like I was. Um, and so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did and I will see you guys later. Bye.